very excited right now. I'm up north uh, visiting family and I'm going to a place called Formby, which is one of the last strongholds of one of Britain's or England's rarest mammals. Uh, I haven't seen this species since I was probably about 12, 13. Uh, I was with my granddad in the south of Ireland and um, we saw a couple. It's been an absolute age. I'm super excited. The weather's not great. It's afternoon. It's a Saturday. There's going to be crowds of people around. It might not be the best time to see, uh, you know, mammal in broad daylight, but fingers crossed. I'm told that it's a good place to see them. I've got my camera beside me and uh, hoping to get some good photographs. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna see. Hopefully. We're gonna go see some red squirrels at Formby. So red squirrels, uh, this is the Sefton Coast and Formby Nature Reserve in particular is one of the last strongholds of red squirrels in the north of England or in England in general. Uh, they're quite rare because a number of reasons mainly to do with the introduced North American grey squirrel. So the grey squirrel doesn't kill red squirrels directly, but what it does is it outcompetes them for food supplies and um, habitat basically, and drives them out of territories because it is larger, more aggressive. The other big reason, uh, apart from competition, that the grey squirrels are bad news for red squirrels is that they've introduced a disease which they're naturally quite resistant to called squirrel pox. So it's a pox virus and the red squirrels uh, really suffer quite badly with it and it's invariably fatal for red squirrels. Whereas the gray squirrels are just kind of carriers of this pox virus. So for that reason, red squirrels have been declining wherever gray squirrels are, um, are doing well. start to rain which is not good the light is pretty bad and I'm not too hopeful we're gonna get any amazing images today I've made it to Formby I've paid six pounds fifty I better see some red squirrels light is getting pretty bad, it's about half two now and uh, I'm running out of time to find these squirrels. I can't believe it, I've seen a red squirrel. Look, they're just running around. I'm lying on the ground in the forest looking at red squirrels. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. They're everywhere.
Okay, I am completely stunned. I thought oh, I'm never gonna see one. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm absolutely astonished. This is awesome. It doesn't really look it, but it is so dark in here. It's really hard to get a picture of the squirrels. So I'm hoping if I carry on out to, out to the edge of the wood, we might get better light for some good photographs. squirrel photo. Check it out. That was very exciting. I haven't seen a red squirrel since I was about 12 I think and I just saw I don't know how many. Lost count. Uh, one of the reasons that the red squirrels do well here in Formby is because of the coniferous forest. So red squirrels really like pine cones to feed on. Grey squirrels are not uh, too good at feeding on pine cones. Um, they find it hard to reach the outer branches of the, the pine and trees. And uh, they do better in kind of mixed or deciduous woodland. And they outcompete the red squirrel there. One really interesting development that's happened in Ireland specifically, but also seeing it in the UK, is the return of the pine marten. So the pine marten is a mustelid related to stoats and weasels and otters and so on. And uh, it also inhabits kind of pine forests like the red squirrel does, and it feeds on squirrels. But it feeds preferentially on grey squirrels because they're more on the ground, um, they find it difficult to escape the pine marten, whereas the red squirrels are so small and nimble and light that they can reach the outermost branches where they feed, but that also means they can escape the pine marten when it's hunting them in trees. So where pine martens are coming back, we're seeing declines in grey squirrel populations and actually red squirrels are coming back as well as or alongside the pine marten. Really, really good news. We're seeing that in Ireland, west of the Shannon, uh, which acts as a kind of natural barrier for grey squirrel uh, spread across the country. Um, we're seeing pine martens coming back from the west coast of Ireland where they traditionally um, remained and uh, escaped persecution in the past couple of hundred years. We're now seeing a resurgence of them into the Midlands and they're actually pushing back the grey squirrel and we're seeing the red squirrel coming back in numbers um, as a result of that. So really, really good consequence of a natural predator coming back into the ecosystem and wiping out the invasive grey.